how do you sabotage yourself? We're so limited. We live in our heads and devise ways to procrastinate. We know we're good enough and capable of getting things done. To overcome self-defeating behaviors, you must actively correct your thinking. So here are five steps to change your limiting beliefs. The first one is just stop. How come? If a thought feels off, investigate it further. Is it limiting? Two, I want you to consider the words that you're saying to yourself. <laughs> Where's the lie? You know there's a problem or you wouldn't be here. It's not true. Knowing the lie makes it easier to counter it. Three, investigate the evidence. Is this self-limiting belief true? Let's examine the false part. If you can step back and look at the situation impartially, is your thinking true? Four, manage. If your thoughts are false, it's easy to counter them with the truth. What if this thought were true? You remind yourself, this isn't always true. You may think you're always late. Sometimes you're late. To complete this step, recall times when you were early. By countering the lie, you're taking control and not letting the limiting, be the limiting belief affect you. Aid yourself. Self-limiting beliefs can be difficult to remove. A friend or counselor can help you see the truth in these situations. Getting impartial help is fine. Self-limiting beliefs shouldn't rule your life. Examine your thoughts, especially those that hold you back. Though, by examining those thoughts will help you reach your goals and soon you'll succeed. So congratulations on taking these next steps in order to limit your self-limiting beliefs. I look forward to seeing you on the next one video. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Boom. <laughs>